Always good to have you with me. Something special today. You're really going to enjoy it. Cleveland filmmakers' bold exploration of race relations hits the big screen at Cleveland International Film Festival. Trust in Black and White premieres on April the 9th. And here's the trailer to that film. As a black woman in America, my experiences with white people have not always been favorable, and particularly white women. I find that I have great relationships with individual black women, but it's harder to figure out how to navigate a group of black women. I looked at her children's hair and I said to myself, they have a white mother, they needed help. I've never really had to think about my racial identity. I personally don't think that just because a white person helps a black person, it makes them a savior. I think it's all about their intentions. I think it's all about the outcome. Joining me to talk about that film are Deborah Plummer, director, executive producer, and producer, along with Laurie Stevick Rust, associate director, producer, and assistant editor. Welcome to the broadcast. Deborah seated on the right, and and uh, uh, Laurie seated on the left. Good to have you both with us. Today. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Deborah, let's start with that. Tell me how how you approach this film. You film most of it in in Greater Cleveland, right? Right. Thank you for the opportunity also to talk about it because it's got an important message about how do we build social trust in our community, starting with women, mm -hmm. you know, because we do believe that women are often the catalyst for change. And we are very interested in looking at the notion of building social trust and gender solidarity in order to get to racial equity. Yeah. What do, what do you want people to get out of this? What do you want them to remember after they see this film, Laurie? You know, I think when Debbie talked a little bit here about gender solidarity, that is, our, I think, ultimately our hope is that we, people who walk away from viewing the film, see that the power of when particularly women come together in a shared understanding, learning from one another, a sense of curiosity and staying in difficult conversations, that we find our place in the center, that we really do believe that when women come together, all things are possible in yeah. terms of change. I'm going to tell the audience this film is going to be on April the 9th and 10th in downtown Cleveland at the Allen Theater in Playhouse Square. I'll give you more information on that in just a moment. But Lori, while, I, while I'm talking to you about this, what surprised you? Did anything surprise you when you did this film about black and white and trusting together? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, one of the things in the film that you'll see is we talked a little bit about, uh, or we showed a segment of a retreat that we did. And one of the exercises was to have black women on one side of the room and white women on the other side of the room mm -hmm. introducing themselves inside of their, their uh, racial identity. And you saw the black women came together and in a heartbeat, they knew it. They could talk about their black identity. They were very um, connected. The white side, it was like, you were asking us yeah. a question, we were like, I got nothing. Like yeah. white identity, it was, a, it was a strange phenomena. So I think that was really mm -hmm. one of the biggest surprises mm -hmm. was that glaring difference between yeah. um, black and white women and our racial identities. Well, the hope is, you know, when we're talking about racial identity, um, you know, because black people, you know, and women of color in general, mm -hmm. um, or people of color in general, always, I mean, deal with that every single day. And so when we bring w women together, in this case, you know, the purpose of that exercise was to see 
how the difference is and what gets evoked yeah. in how we are in the world, you know, just because skin color is visible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did, did, did Cleveland play a role, play a role in, in you establishing this story? Absolutely, because Cleveland, you know, has such great diversity and that presents yourself with a natural kind of living laboratory, if mm -hmm, you will, mm -hmm. because other cities and other places that don't have that kind of diversity, you aren't learning those innate kind of multicultural competencies that you need. So we wanted it here in Cleveland, not only because we're from the Cleveland area and you know, and Cleveland yeah. is a home, but because you, um, in, in our city, we have that kind of environment or that kind of, um, set for it. So we had women that came from 11 different states here, all seven geographic regions, in order to explore this topic yeah. of how do we come together in order to establish trust and move yeah. racial equity forward. Laurie, as we, as we come together, do we, do you, did you find out there are a lot of similarities, that we all want the same thing, the women want the same things, no matter what the race is? Yes, I think, you know, first understanding our differences, but at the end of the day, yes, I think that became very clear as we had a whole group of women together that at the end of the day, we have more things in common, as you said earlier, um, than we have differences. And so, yeah, I think that was very clear, especially in um, the interviews that we did with mm -hmm. experts and conversation within our retreats. Yeah. That theme continued to, to rise yeah. to the surface. Yeah. I but gotta I believe want, this, yeah. go, go ahead. I, I, I still don't wanna downplay the complexity of that uh -huh. though, in terms of the differences mm -hmm. and why this even got started because our, um, we do know that our divide is very deep. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that concerned me, we started this work in 2020 and I was very concerned um, because cross-racial friendships have been my life's yeah. work in terms of, and it used to be that it was, there was a desire and aspiration for that and that was gone. I was talking to many, um, you know, people across racial lines, and there, that desire was gone because of the fear element yeah. that is in there now, and so it's become far more complex. So it's aspirational, but in practice, it's very, very difficult. So I would just, yeah. I would say that even though, you know, um, there is the tension is there, and we saw that in the retreat. We definitely saw that, which is what you're going to see also in the documentary. Yeah. Um, some of that tension, and there's a long history for it. Lori, this is the, I've got 20 seconds remaining. Sure. This <laughs> is just the beginning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We can build on this, can't we? Build on this film, Trust in Black and White. We can build on this, right? I think we can build on it. I just want to echo again what Debbie is saying, though, that the work is hard. And I think it's hard for everybody who shows up to do the work. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of, I, I don't think we have any options here. If we continue to right. stay divided, um, that, then we're really all, the, we all lose. We all lose. Yeah. I wish you luck with this. And I'm certain well, it's going to be you. wonderful. And you, what you said, the work is hard. Mm -hmm. But somebody's got to do it. And we have to do it now. Really? Exactly. Okay. Let me tell the audience where you can see Trust in Black and White. It's going to be at the Cleveland International Film Festival, April the 9th and April the 10th. It is showing on April the 9th at 4.50 in the afternoon and on April 10th at 2.35 in the afternoon. Now, both showings are at the Upper Allen Theater. That is in the heart of Playhouse Square. For more information, visit clevelandfilm.org. More information on everything that we've been chatting about with Deborah Plummer and Loris Stevick Rust, who are part of the film, Trust in Black and White. Thank you so much for being on the broadcast. Thank you. Your Thank you. presence here says it all. Absolutely.